Hello, all you beautiful people. How are you doing here today? This love of Tim Tristan. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. Hi. So today we're doing another tutorial spotlight on Prefab 116.5. This is a part two. If you have not seen part two, where we went in through all the different types of starter houses, modern houses, the welcome center, the bridge, and uh, these two buildings over here, which was, of course, I forgot the name of them, the machinery tower and the defense bunker. So we went through all those. I will have the link up above and down below if you missed part one, but I highly recommend you go check that out. All right, here is part two. We're going to continue on with how to make each recipe and what it looks like. So first up, we have the mine shaft entrance. It is two iron picks, a bundle of timber, two compressed stone, a bed, and three bundles of timber down below. Okay, for this one right here, we're gonna right click here, choose our bed color, which, I mean, whatever color you want. Again, you can do a preview to see where it's gonna sit and Go back in and build. All right, this one is really cute. It's a little tiny, but it still has a bed, chest, crafting table, and furnace. Then, of course, if you go down, it has your mine shaft. Now, of course, if you have a starter house or a modern house, you're not going to really need this unless it's just a different area of the world that you just want something simple. Honestly, that's the only way I could see you actually needing this. And of course, it gives us all the materials that it got out of here, which in this case was not a lot, but that's okay. Next up, we have the Ender Gateway. It is four prismarine in the corner, three blocks of quartz, a double compressed obsidian, and a triple compressed stone. Now this one is pretty big. Let's say we want to put this one somewhere over here. We're going to right click. As you can see from the picture, it is quite big. Of course we can preview, but let's just get this one going. Look at that. Now this one, you might be wondering, what right you can hear lava of course you're probably not going to be flying down around i'm in creative how do you enter this this is how you enter you go up to these phasic blocks and right click and they sort of disappear and it has that on all the different sides but as you can see it is simply our end portal so if you want to Create your own ender portal instead of going to look for it. Of course, you still have to put the eyes of ender in. Let's go ahead and do that and I will show you. It will function just like a, whoops, regular end portal, including the noise. But it's just a little bit different everywhere else. Keep trying to go underneath, but you can't because there's these invisible blocks here. But then we can just go back out. Of course, you're probably going to want to build upstairs to that one. But it kind of looks like a giant dragon's egg. At least that's what I think it looks like. Let me know what you think it looks like. Next up, we have the aqua base. This is three glass on top, two compressed stone two triple stone, a sea lantern, and a coil of lanterns. All right, let's go see what this baby's going to look like. Now, it is an aqua base, so we are going to go and put it down below. Now, of course, you might want to do a preview just to make sure it's not taking up anything that you want it to. And we have one space available, so I think that is the perfect spot to build it. Now, of course, you can build this one anywhere you want. We could still do it up top. But look how tall this is. 
and you can enter in from down below. It is very, very empty inside, but what I did one time is I kind of created a huge farm out of it with the different layers, like each layer where the stone bricks were. But you can do anything you want with it, including make it your really cool base. Next one up is the grassy plain. So it is three grass on top, three compressed dirt, and three double compressed dirt. Now this is maybe not something that you're gonna wanna want in your regular overworld, but if you're playing something like a sky pack, this one will definitely come in handy. So if we go out here, say we just wanted a grassy plain. So we're gonna click right here. And of course we can preview. Looks beautiful, but we're gonna go ahead and build it. It's just a bunch of dirt. Yep, yep. It's just a bunch of dirt with grass and flowers. And so well, it's probably gonna be more likely to be used either in a sky block or maybe if you built this ocean area, maybe you just want to add a dirt area off to the side, which you would probably want to do off the back here. But for instance, you could do it and have it build it right here. And there you go. Even if you're out in the ocean, you can still have your grassy plain. Next up, this one looks quite a bit different. It is a magic temple. So it is three bundles of timber on top, a brewing stand, enchanting table, blaze rod, and three bundles of timber on bottom. And you might have guessed what it is, but you might not. So let's take a look. Okay, we're going to build it right here. This one has stairs up and look. Has a very, very strange look to it. But if we go up the steps and go inside, it is an enchanting area set up. Yep, you probably already guessed it. Complete with the cauldron, brewing stand, all your needs to get started making the magic. Next up, we have a watchtower. It is three double compressed stone on top, a double compressed stone in the middle, and a compressed stone on the bottom. This one is super simple, but super useful. Again, I like to preview. So let's go ahead and build it. And it is a tower. Again, you do have a bed in this one, crafting bench and chest. So it would also work as a starter place because stone isn't that hard to get, but it is like it says a watchtower. It gives you a place to be able to view out in the distance and also watch to see if anything is coming your way. Next up is one that I think is a lot of fun. It is a jail. So it takes three iron bars on top one on either side in the middle, a triple compressed stone in the direct middle, two double compressed dirt, and a double compressed stone. We're gonna put our jail over here because why not? Why put it next to everything else? That's where a jail belongs, right? All right. This one is really cool, including <laughs> a courtyard that is barred up. So you have two different entrances. You can go in this back way here and then up the stairs, uh, ladder, excuse me. And this is where you could watch out. But then of course you can go in the, well, this is the back way. That's why you can't get in that way. But if you go on the front way, supposed to be from keeping prisoners escaping. Then as you can see, we have our person standing guard. 
which allows this door there to open. And you can also go up here for another larger watchtower. And of course you have chest and bookshelves in here. I think this one's so much fun. And then you have individual prison sale cells, which you can only open from the outside. <laughs> so beware. You cannot open from in here. This would be a lot of fun to have either mobs in there that you want to keep, or if you're playing with friends, this would be a fun way to keep your little prisoners that are not acting properly. And even back here, there is no way to get out without the guards flipping some kind of switch. So, you know, like that. <laughs> which opens all the gates and lets them outside so they can have some outdoor time. I think this one's super fun and is definitely one of my favorites. But let me know what you think. Next up is the saloon. So it's going to be three bundles of timber on top, a glass block, brewing stand, note block, and three bundles of timber on bottom. All right, so we're going to put the saloon right back here. And even though the beautiful tree is halfway cut off, it has this cute little porch. Very plain exterior, but that is how the saloons kind of were. Uh, honestly, I wish this one had a little bit more of a Western theme to the outside of it. But that could always be fixed pretty easily. But if you go in here, it has all your different kinds of drinks, which in this case is Awkward Potion. Even a sword in case somebody gets unruly as you're bartending behind the counter. And of course, tables and chairs, jukebox, you got to have music playing, and a ladder over here to go up to your storage area. You got to have a place to keep all that stock. Keep the patrons happy. Next up, we have a ski lodge, which is two snow blocks, a bundle of timber, two more bundles of timber, a blue ice, coil of lanterns, triple compressed stone, and double compressed dirt. Even though this one would probably look better in a snowy biome, we're going to keep it all in the same area and we're going to put it right here. But the nice thing is it brings the blocks with your snow here. Even the little wheat farm. This one is super cute. Look at that. Even got the chimney with the smoke coming out. So this one think warm and cozy. Even got the wheat to keep you fed. Big open spaces to put all your needs in. And a huge open area here too. So if this is more your style, you don't want to go with a starter house. Because, you know, somebody's already put their little touches in that. Maybe you want to go with something like this. That you can put whatever you like into it. I think this one is super cute and I would definitely use it even as a house. Who says it needs to be a ski lodge? Next up, we have a windmill, which is a triple compressed stone in the middle, four bundles of timber, a hay bale, and a double compressed dirt. All right, this one we're going to put right over here past our grassy plain. Look at this. It's what a windmill you think would be. And of course, if you made a way to go up, there's also the stuff up here. Just a super cute, not, not a highly functional, but just a super cute building to add to your world. Next up, we have the town hall. For this one, you're going to need two double compressed stone, a ton of timber, 
two coils of lanterns, a heap of timber, and two double compressed dirt. All right, this one we're going to pop in right over here because it's, well, town hall. And it has this cute little meeting area. Isn't this so adorable with the lecterns on it? I think this is so cute. And then you can go into the back room, have a little setup back here. And honestly, this is kind of set up if you, if you wanted to rearrange it, you could and even turn it into an enchanting area. And then you have more lecterns. And then if you go into this one, then you have your super secret little office meeting, including whiteboards for you to do your presentations. Absolutely adorable. Little bit of work and you can actually turn it into a little school also. And of course it has a little farm out there too, so cute. Next up is another one of my favorites, and this one is the Nether Gate. It is four double compressed stone and four compressed obsidian with a flint and steel in the middle. All right, let's pop this one down. Oh, yeah. So this one we need to fly around so you can get the full magnitude of this. I think it looks like a dragon skull. Look at that. Of course, you have your bone blocks here, too. If you wanted to take it apart, you could. And those can actually be very useful. I think it looks fabulous put together, though, so I would probably leave it like that. Now, that part back there, you don't go through, but that's for a reason. You notice all this is obsidian. So all you have to do is take your flint and steel and you instantly have... A very, very functional, nice looking nether portal. I love it. Next up, we have the advanced aqua base. This one is three glass on top, two conduits, a sea lantern, two triple compressed stone, and a coil of lanterns. All right, we're going to go out just a little bit further for this one. And we're going to place it underground just a little bit. Look at this. And of course, you do not have to build it underground. I just like to. And it already has the conduits, so you wouldn't have to worry about needing lots of extra bread. Once again, the inside pretty much looks the same as the other one. The biggest advancement you get with this is the conduits here. Which, of course, are going to come in very, very handy if you're going to spend a lot of time down here. Next up, we have a workshop. And for that, you're going to need the moderate house blueprint with the warehouse upgrade. So how do you make the warehouse upgrade? That one is over here. It is four bookshelves in the corner two enchanting tables, two brewing stands, and an anvil. So combine that with the moderate house, which is the three starting houses. Oops. For the workshop. Okay, let's place this one down. Look at that. Fabulous. This one has a cool little extra entrance. little hallway here with some plants. You have your sugar cane in here. Nice little area up here with your enchanting tables. But it has all these books. Isn't that neat? Then you come in here. It does have a bed, so you could also use it as your house has these cool little shelves, has this very, very nice setup. Look at this, already has the item frames and everything. You can go ahead and start your storage system. 
And then in here is where you would do your farms. And it even already has cactus in here also. This would make a fabulous starter base also. At least that's what I think. But let me know what you think. And then if we go in here, look at these automatic setups. Complete with blast furnace and regular furnace and all the hoppers. All this already made. I think it's great. But let me know what you think. Two more things on this one. This does have where you can automatically, whoops. Let's try that again. This has where you can automatically harvest your sugar cane here just by pressing the button once it's grown. And it also has a mine shaft, which can be very easily missed, but it is right over here. Next up, we have villager houses. This is six bundles of timber and three compressed stone. Now this one actually has some variations and we will go through the different ones of those. Okay, first up, we have a fenced roof. This one, again, you can change your bed color. These are simple houses because they're meant to be, well, villager houses. Voila. With, of course, some modifications from the mod. Next up, we have the blacksmith house. And it's a little bit different than the traditional blacksmith house, but a little bit the same. Then we have the long house. Look at that. Just a little bit longer. Still very short and cute. Next we have the flat roof, which is weird because it's only flat in the middle part, but you know. And of course it's just a little bed. But these would be cute to start off with something or to make your own little village. Next, we have the angled roof. Again, very simple inside. Just very simple houses. And I believe there is one more. Nope, the fenced roof. So this includes these five different styles. But you could mix and match and make a whole bunch of them, which is pretty cool. Excuse me. Next up, we have the warehouse, which is four double compressed stone, a compressed chest, triple compressed stone, and two coils of lanterns. All right, let's see this one. And this one, you can change the color of the glass panes. But this one has a bunch of chests set up, crafting benches, furnaces. Kind of like, well, a warehouse. And then if you go upstairs, you have big open space. Next up, we have the advanced warehouse. The recipe is the exact same, except this time you add a warehouse upgrade to it. Okay, here is the advanced warehouse. So you'll notice it looks quite a bit the same, right? But there's a jukebox on the side. There's an ender chest on this side. It even has an area down below with an ender chest, a cauldron, Plenty of more areas, and of course you have your unlimited water source, and you still have the upstairs also. This time it has an enchanting room. It already has your stuff to enchant and brew, including mycelium. Isn't that nice? 
I like it. This would also be really good for a server um, if you have a shared community space for people to come do stuff. This would actually be a nice space for that also. So I had to go look. The first warehouse, not the advanced one, the first warehouse also has where you can go downstairs. It just doesn't have the jukebox or ender chest. So this one also has a third level down below. Next up, we have modern building. It is gonna be two coils of lanterns, two double compressed stone, a triple compressed stone, and two blocks of iron. Okay, this is another one of those that makes a lot of different ones, so let's get started. First of all, like I said, I like to do a preview. With this one, I would wanna go out one. So, and the first one is a shopping center. Look at this. This is crazy. Crazy cool, of course, but crazy. And of course, you'll find drops in here from stuff like flowers and stuff. But it is, as it suggests, the look of a shopping center. Complete with dressing rooms or storage units, whatever you want to use them for. Mannequins, if you will, to put your supplies on. This is just so much fun. Now let's go down the opposite way we came in. And so very colorful. I like it a lot. I don't know why there are missing glass panes here, though. I don't know. But it's really cute. Can you imagine all the different things you could actually do with that? Super cute. Let's do the next one. Okay, so to change it, of course, you click here. So next one is a fruit shop. And can you imagine what this is supposed to look like? If you don't know, here's your clue. It's supposed to be an Apple store. You know, Apple, phones, MacBooks, all that, iPads. Make you a fancy store. This is one of the reasons I love this mod so much. So many creative things in here. All right, I had to use our bulldozer for a little bit of an area. If you missed that, the recipe for one that you can make is on the first video. But next we have the cinema. Of course, we want to preview, make sure it's not Sticking it out, we're good. So let's go ahead and build this. Oh! The poopy got stuck in it. Oh! That was not good. But this is, as you can imagine, a movie cinema. I think they did a great job on this. Look. First of all, it is huge. Has the little movie posters on the outside. Come in and you have where you buy your ticket. The restrooms. Of course, tables and chair to sit. And then you can buy your concession goodies. <laughs> Check your coat. And then go into the theater. Ta -ta. So this is theater one. I think it only has the one theater. Yeah. But this is the theater, including the lights and our big screen to watch everything on. Pretty cool. Next up is this fantastic water park. Look at this. 
You got your water slides, multiple ones. This is cool. Complete with your pool with the lounge area and the umbrellas. I think this is great. And somehow this got messed up. Let's see if we can redo it and make it uh, put it back again. So sometimes if you have an issue, you can put it back down and build it again. Of course, that's going to give you duplicates. Nope, still didn't fix it. I think these were supposed to be signs here. For some reason, they are not wanting to place down properly. So sometimes you do have issues, but very, very cute still indeed. And thankfully that dog did not get hurt. All right. Okay, next up we have the construction site. This one you can choose the bed color and the glass color. Let's do a different color because I never changed that. There we go. And it's, well, looks like a construction site complete with the office, which is where the bed comes in. Because you can actually sleep in here and have a little bit of storage. This is pretty cool. Of course, it has a little bit of supplies if you want to take it. If, But, you know, this would make a great area just to set up a town. Like all these different buildings combined, you could set up some really cool stuff. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, had to clear out a little bit of area, but the next one is apartments. Preview that one. We could probably move over here. Look at that. Talk about modern looking apartments. Of course, we can change the colors and everything. This looks pretty cool. You have a little farm area out here. And if we go up here, first floor has this tiny little apartment with a little patio to it. And it's just going to be a whole bunch of apartments. So as we go up each level, each level will have a little bit differently designed apartment. Very nice. That one, I think, kind of looked the same. And here is the top floor one. Of course, they all have a different color scheme, but pretty cool and even functional because uh, people can stay in here as they're starting out. And it includes five different levels so if you're especially playing on a multiplayer, that's five different places people can stay at. All right, the next one is mini hotel. Make sure, nope, we're gonna have to move over quite a bit. Okay, let's build it. Now, if we fly around, you can see this one has a little hotel, um, hotel. It is a hotel, mini hotel, but it has a little pool lounge area again, and then different areas to stay in. But out back, it also has like a little cooking area. This is just really cute, like so creative. I think these are just fantastic builds. They offer so much, not always in the functionality realm of things, but more in the creative, Cool looking area. Look at that. Next up, we have the modern house. And even looking from the outside, you can definitely tell it has a very modern feel, but it kind of goes along with the apartments along with it. So this one even has garage doors well that's what it's supposed to look like a garage gate and you know that's supposed to be the garage door entrance a little pool a little patio area look at this how creative 
using that as the area around your bed like a rug. Then if we go upstairs, we have another bedroom up here, another little patio out here with an umbrella, and a little patio over here. Very, very creative. Very nice. What do you think? I like it. Okay, next up we have a gas station. Let's make sure we're not cutting in there. We are just a little bit, so we're going to move over maybe to here. Uh, back's still cutting in a little bit, so let's move over a couple more. Dang, this one's big. I think we still are not safe, so. Clear out some more room, and let's get it there. There we go. We can actually move over a couple, so let's go right here. All right. Look at this. Isn't this fantastic? This is such a cool looking gas station. I mean, look at this. And of course, what gas station would be complete or would not be complete without having a little area in here to do a little shopping. I don't know what this one's supposed to be. The office, maybe? Maybe a little office. There we go. And then here's more shopping. Along with this one. Pretty cool. So what's in here? Ah, just little rooms. Interesting. I love looking at all these builds, but look how big it is. Like, dang! But I guess you would expect it to be pretty big for a gas station. Wait a minute, there's an upstairs. How did we not get upstairs? Mm, is there not a way to go upstairs? I don't think there's an actual way to go upstairs. What? Let's investigate. There has to be a way to go upstairs. Why would it be all lit up and fancy if there was no upstairs? What if? Okay, what if? Nope. I still do not see a way upstairs. So what if? So on this one, I think I would actually build a way to get up here. Because you're wasting all that room that you could actually have to build more stuff. So if you're using it for survival type purposes and not just cool buildings, then I would go upstairs with this one. I don't know. Let me know what you think. All right, next up, we have this cute little cottage. Look at this. I keep forgetting to change the glass color. That's why they're all purple, but you can still do it any glass color you want. So this one has a cute little area to walk in. Then you have your downstairs area with a little pool, which of course would be your infinite water source. Furnaces to get your stuff done. A little farm here, which is really cute. And then look at this, a little bit of storage. It's supposed to be like a little kitchen. And then if we go upstairs, have a nice little patio, sit and enjoy some coffee. At least that's what I would do. And then you have a little bookshelf area, chest, another little patio. And if we go up further, that's where we have the bedroom. Super cute. I just love these buildings. I love the way they did all these different styles. They're so creative. All right, next up we have a cute little bank. Look at this. 
area to sit out here. And then of course the bank tellers would go back here. Gotta have all that privacy. And here is where the tellers would be to get you your money that of course is stored in these awesome barrels. Or Minecraft version, you know, diamonds, gold, maybe even smarn. Probably more like emeralds. But look at this, super cute. And it has banners up here. Of course, you could change them out for whatever you wanted. But I think this is pretty awesome. Look at that. Okay, last one we have. We want to go over a little bit and up. Is a tree house. We're going to go ahead and build it. Look how cool. Cool that is and it even has pathways off to each side because as you can see as we fly around there's actually a door to get in from each and every side so let's go in this side look at the bamboo growing and then of course we go up there's the first floor which just has a little patio area area out on each side this one has water which is kind of cool now these um yeah i think these are the dubs of the trees no no i think that's part of it because it's even on all sides all right next level is the bedroom area so there's multiple beds chest for storage so this would be functional for multiple people of course you got the bookshelves and the cute little lectern we go up to the next level and we have a bit of storage and again this one is sugarcane let's see are they all different they are then we have the melons and pumpkins on this side we have the carrots and wheat and this side we have beehives look at that beehives are ready to go with flour that is fantastic so did we miss something no because that did not have patio i want to make sure we don't miss anything i mean you probably do a little bit but and then this area has all your different Workbenches you need, including the smithing table. This is so awesome. And of course, the ladder goes all the way up, so all you would have to do is break it. It's already lit up up here, so you could keep expanding it more if you wanted to. But this is so cool. Look at this. And from here, you can look out on all the massive city you've built. All right, that is it for the modern houses, the modern buildings. Excuse me, we already did the modern houses. So um, let's see, tell me which of these modern buildings was your favorite? And we're gonna have to do a part three because well, there's so many different buildings to each of these and the video is already quite long as you can see. So we will have a part three and we will finish up the rest of prefab of course if you've made it this far don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video so i know what you guys are enjoying thank you so much for being here i appreciate all of you as always so until next video this is lava temptress don't get burned bye